752 says, in a study of lettuce group growth, 10 seedlings were randomly allocated to be grown in either standard nutrients solution or a solution containing extra nitrogen. Okay, after 22 days of growth, the plants were harvested and weighed and the results were given in the table. Are the data sufficient to conclude that the extra nitrogen enhances plant growth under these conditions? Okay, so we want to know if the nitrogen enhances, the extra nitrogen enhances the growth. Okay, so here um, our, our null hypothesis is extra nitrogen has no effect, and here our extra nitrogen enhances growth, okay? So in math terms, our null hypothesis is that we're going to say um, mu1 is the standard group, so mu1 uh, is the standard group and the nitrogen group is mu2. So mu1 minus mu2, there's no difference there. That's the null hypothesis. The alternative, mu1 will be the standard group, okay? And so if mu2 is for the nitrogen group, the true mean of the nitrogen group, then we're expecting the nitrogen group to be heavier than the um, non-nitrogen group. So we're expecting this to be less than zero, okay? So we're gonna, let me just write mu1 is mean of standard and mu2 will be mean of nitrogen enhanced group. Okay, and this is what our um, table is. We have the standard extra nitrogen um, we had the counts, we had five in each group. The mean, our y bars, okay, is 3.62 and 4.17. The standard deviation, or our s, is going to be 0.54 and over here 0.67, okay? So we have to find a test statistic and, uh, and do our calculations from there. So our t statistic is going to be uh, y1 bar minus y2 bar minus 0 over our standard error. Okay, so our standard error is going to be the square root of 0.54 squared over 5 plus 0.67 squared over 5. And when we do that, uh, punching all of this out, we get 0.3848. And so our T statistic on top, we have 3.62 minus 4.17. This is the mean of the standard group minus the mean of the enhanced group, are the sample means, okay, divided by our standard error. And when we do that, we get negative uh, 1.43. So our T statistic is negative 1.43. And if we... Um, it tells us that uh, the formula yields uh, 7.7 .7 degrees of freedom, okay? Or we can use uh, 8 degrees of freedom. I'm just going to use uh, 8 degrees of freedom, okay? So if we look up 8 degrees of freedom, and we're looking for negative 1.43, we see that 8 degrees of freedom, uh, negative 1.43, or basically now we have to look for the positive values is in between 1.397 and 1.860 okay and 1.397 corresponds to an upper tail probability of 10 percent and 1.860 corresponds to an upper tail probability of 5 percent so our p-value is in between 10 percent and 5 percent um, we're going to um, use the t-test uh, alpha is equal to 10%. Okay, so uh, alpha, alpha is equal to 10%. So our p-value is in between 5% and 10%. So here, 
This leads us to reject the null hypothesis, okay? Now, if our alpha was 5%, then our p-value is bigger than 5%, and we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. But according to this, um, we set the sensitivity to be, or um, the uh, significance level to be 10%. So this might be a smoke alarm that's a little bit um, sensitive, but here we end up rejecting the null hypothesis because our p-value is less than 10%.